Tour the workshop of a cabinet maker or wood carver, and you're sure to come across a collection of rasps. A rasp is a hand tool with teeth that you push forward with pressure over wood to shape it. Rasps come in various textures called grains, ranging from coarse to fine. Machine-made rasps may suffice for hobbyists, but fine woodworking requires premium rasps like these, which are made entirely by hand. A rasp starts out as a steel bar called a blank. First, a worker heats one end of the blank in an oven at a temperature of approximately 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. When the steel glows somewhere between orange and red, he immediately cuts the end to a crude point with a press. Then he places the end under a spring hammer, which strikes it repeatedly against a die, forging the crude point to a refined one. After repeating these steps on the opposite end, he inserts the blank into a shearing machine. This cuts across the middle, dividing the blank into two flat rasps, each with a pointed end and a flat end. The worker puts the flat end into the oven. Once it reaches working temperature, he places it in a press. The first strike tapers the end. The second cuts off steel to form the tool's handle called the tang. The rasp shape is fully forged. An experienced craftsman now begins refining it. First, he runs it against a grinding wheel to remove excess steel. Because steel warps in the forging process, he hammers along the tang, point, and length to straighten the rasp. This step is critical for structural strength because if the grain of the steel is imperfectly straight, the rasp will warp when the craftsman later hardens the steel by tempering. Once the rasp is straight, he grinds the flat surfaces on a grinding belt. Then he returns to the grinding wheel to remove excess steel around the point. By the time he completes this step, the point is transformed from this to this. After additional grinding to polish away the marks, it's time to give the rasp some teeth. This process, known as stitching the rasp, is a highly specialized skill that requires exceptional dexterity. The stitchers form every single tooth by hand with a single hammer strike on a punch. The punch shape and size determines the tooth shape and size. The hammer size determines tooth height. A heavier hammer forces the punch deeper into the steel, forming a taller tooth. The larger and deeper the teeth, the coarser the grain of the rasp. The artisan stitched the rasp a quarter section at a time to set the teeth at the proper angle. The tooth angle differs when they're making a left-hand rasp versus a right-hand rasp. The expert craftsman now hammers a slight curve back into the rasp. If left straight, it would curve when they temper it. By preemptively curving it, the rasp will straighten when tempered. He submerges the rasp in a molten salt bath inside the tempering furnace. Salt prevents contact with oxygen, which burns off the carbon in the steel, thus destroying its properties. After removing the rasp from the salt bath, he gradually cools it in a quenching tank filled with salt water. Cooling steel at just the right speed and direction is critical. Too slow, 